Autodesk Sim 360 is a powerful simulation platform that can give your team deep insight into how your designs perform. Sim 360 helps you to better understand performance, ensure design goals are met, and improve overall product quality at every stage of the design process. Sim 360 brings unparalleled geometry, visualization, material management, and solution capabilities directly to your 3D models, including models from AutoCAD. There are just a couple of things to keep in mind when working with AutoCAD models. The first is that models must be in 3D. The second is that there should only be a single drawing of the model and not multiple sheets. And the third is that for best results, export the model as an ACES file. So to get started with Sim360 from AutoCAD, we'll first export the model as an ACES file. When you first start Sim360, you'll see the Autodesk 360 dashboard. This environment is your connection to a wealth of collaboration tools. It may look a little like a certain popular social media site, but don't let that scare you. Autodesk 360 is all business. The home page is your personal space for managing your designs and simulations, sharing them with others in your design chain, and monitoring design activity within your groups. Unlike traditional simulation tools, Sim360 is in the cloud. This means that the geometry must be in the cloud too. So our first step is to bring the model into Sim360 with the Import tab on the new data tile. Click Choose File and browse for the model. When you're ready, click Import. So what's going on? Sim360 is uploading your model to the Autodesk 360 cloud. How will you know when it's done? Autodesk 360 will send you an email you'll get a notification and the model will appear in the activity feed when you click refresh. Now that you've imported your model into Autodesk 360, you're ready to create a simulation. You're going to see two entries for the model in the activity feed. One is the translation report. The other, with a picture of the model and the words Fusion 360 Design, is your model. Click on this entry. When the design card opens, click Create Simulation. On the Studies dialog, select the type of simulation you want to run. By the way, this name field is for the simulation model, not the entire SIM document. The CAD model name is automatically used as the SIM document name. When you're ready, click OK to create the simulation. Now you're ready to prepare your simulation model. To learn more, expand the Help icon and click Essential Videos. These videos walk you through the entire process, from importing the model, which you've just done, to setting up the simulation, running it, reviewing the results, and comparing design alternatives. 